Good morning. Would you please stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Would you please remain standing for a moment of silence? Will you please be seated? And now for your Shea TV News. Good morning to you Shea Scorpions. You are watching Shea TV. Thank you for joining us today. It's Tuesday, October 6th. Students, remember our AR activity is alive and kicking. Remember to read any horror or mystery book and take the AR quiz by October 31st. Speaking of Millionaire's Cub, we have two millionaires already. Amber Christian said at 3,267,340 words, and she was our first millionaire. Next up is Devin Draghi, and she had 1,136,019 words. Congratulations, girls. Keep reading. Students of the Week, 7th grade Samantha Martinovich and 8th grader Tyler Dodson. Samantha, here are a few words Ms. Jones had to say. Each day she enters the classroom with a smile and a greeting and a positive attitude and ready to get her best learning in. Samantha is a wonderful listener, takes good notes, and asks questions when she needs something clarified. When we are doing group work, she collaborates well with her peers and it is a leader with she needs to be. And Tyler, Miss Favela proudly boasted. Tyler comes to class every day with a positive attitude and ready to start working when the bell rings. Tyler does an outstanding job and turns his all, in, all his assignments in in a timely manner. He does his best each and every day and never complains about the work being too difficult. Again, congratulations Tyler and Samantha for making a great choices and being a shining example for our peers. Keep, Keep up, up the outstanding, outstanding work. work. Twist and shout, we are just a few days away from our first dance. We hope to see you this Friday at, right after school at 2.45. Remember to wear your student ID and bring $5. Cookie dough! Our first fundraiser begins on Friday. You'll be getting more information from your teachers this Friday. Sales run from Friday, October 9th through Friday, October 16th. Students, right now is a great time to write your name on the inside cover of your choir. Love Costco? Teachers and students, this Saturday, October 10th from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. is our Scorpion School event. Our school will earn a ream of paper from every $75 your family spends. So hope to see you this Saturday right at Paradise Valley Mall, Costco. It's time for our weekly dose of healthy living and wellness tips with Nurse Cassie. This week, we are emphasizing the importance of washing hands. Regular hand washing before and after activities is one of the best ways to remove germs and avoid the spreading sick and preventing the spread of germs to others. We can all stay healthier by covering coughs and sneezes by keeping your hands away from your face. Cough into your elbow. Like this. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> also keep hands, pens, and pencils out of your mouths. This week's word is honesty. Here's a quote about honesty. James E. Foss said this about honesty. We all need to know what it means to be honest. Honesty is more than not lying. It is truth telling, truth speaking, truth living, and truth loving. This really relates to our THINK campaign. The letter T in the acronym THINK stands for truth. When we speak, we should ask ourselves, is it true? That is right. We should always be truth tellers. Teacher, there is a separate video link included with today's Shea TV. Please show this short clip at the conclusion of today's broadcast. After viewing the video, discuss with classmates how you would respond. Honesty, pass it on. Hungry, too, too bad. bad. It's a half day, and therefore there will be no lunch served today. Now for the weather. Today we are going to be looking at a high of 92 degrees and a low of 72 with 
50% chance humidity. I'm April. And I'm Chase. Make it a great day, Scorpion. Yeah, I'm here with my book recommendation, and I wanted to talk about one of my favorite teen screamers, and that is the Skeleton Creek series. There's a few reasons that I like this series. Um, mainly, I'm a very visual person, so I really like how it's written in a journal format. So every day, uh, he writes in his journal and kind of talks about what's happening. The other thing that I really like is how there's a lot of visual things in it, like they tape the clues that they find to solve a mystery. So it's two friends, a boy and a girl that are both teenagers, and they're trying to figure out some crazy things that have been going on around there. I also like that you have to try to figure out the clues. So they have different kinds of drawings in here, and you have to figure out what those mean. And there's all kinds of different codes and things like that that you need to figure out. The other thing that I really like about it is since I'm a technology person, I love that at the end of most of the chapters, there is a YouTube video that you go to that's like spooky, you know, it gives you some background, or it's an adventure they're going on, but it's always one more piece of the puzzle. So you can see like that, it tells you what, where to visit, and you put in that password. So, pretty cool. And of course, the last thing is I like all the artistic drawings. So the kid likes to sketch. So since it's his journal, he always has, um, he's sketching some of the different things that they see to figure out. So again, this is the Skeleton Creek series. I believe there's three or four of them. And we have the full series available in your media center. So come check us out at Skeleton Creek. Good morning, Scorpions. I'd like to remind everyone that Friday, this Friday, October 9th, is our first school dance. It will begin right after school at 2.45, and it will end promptly at 4.45. So make sure your parents are out in the East parking lot or the front parking lot to pick you up at 4.45. Remember, it's a $5 entry fee, as well as you need a school ID. You will not be allowed into the dance without that ID. If you currently do not have an ID because you lost one, Make sure you see Ms. Morris tomorrow, today, whenever, and purchase a new ID for $5. Secondly, if you are new to Shade and you did not get your school picture, they will give you a temporary ID in the office uh, that you can use for the dance. So remember, you need a school ID and $5 for the dance. We will also have backpacks stored in two rooms. Seventh grade students, your backpacks will be stored in Mrs. Peters' performing arts room. It'll be locked up. So right after school, you go to the performing arts course room and you put your backpack there. Eighth graders, your backpacks will be placed in the media center. So when school is out at 240, make sure you go right to the media center and put your backpacks there. Reminder, dance this Friday on October 9th, beginning at 245, $5 fee, and also a school ID is necessary. Thank you. Hello, Scorpions. Just another reminder of the cookie dough fundraiser beginning Friday, October 9th. On your, in your fourth period class, you should be receiving a collection envelope that you put your name on there, as well as the brochure that has the different tubs, cookie dough tubs on the front. And on the back, you make sure that you fill out the paperwork and you collect the money and put it in the envelope. The envelopes have to be returned by Monday, October 19th in the front office. There'll also be awards, prizes for the top five sellers throughout the cookie dough sales. Remember that when you collect the money, you'll be receiving coupons to give back to those people that purchased the coupons from you and they will order online, they will order their cookie dough tubs. So this is going to start Friday. You'll have about a week and a half to sell. Please try and sell as many as you possibly can. I'm going to introduce you to two fine young ladies that will continue our daily announcements uh, for the cookie dough. Our student council president and our vice president, Bridget and Justice. What's up, people? So I'm Bridget, I'm the Stuco, I'm the Stuco president. <laughs> and I'm Justice, I'm the vice president. And we're here to get you excited for the cookie dough fundraisers because everybody loves cookie dough. So yeah. 
You can share it and sell it to your relatives, to anyone, because honestly, who doesn't love cookie dough? Everybody loves cookie dough. So yeah. We'll see you later this week. Have a great day. Hey, good morning, Shea Middle School. Mr. J here to talk with you a little bit about Students of the Week. All right, first Student of the Week we have is Samantha Martinovich. And Ms. Jones has nominated Samantha for Student of the Week. Here's what she had to say. Samantha has come into Honors English showing every attribute of a student who is determined to do her very best. Each day she enters the classroom with a smile, a greeting, a positive attitude, and ready to get her best learning in. Samantha is a wonderful listener, takes good notes, and asks questions when she needs something clarified. When, we're, when we are doing group work, she collaborates well with her peers and is a leader when she needs to be. Her current straight A's speak volumes about her effort in being the best student she can be. Keep up the great work, Samantha. I know you're going to do wonderful things in this world. Ms. Favela is also nominated. Tyler Dodson is Student of the Week. Here's what she had to say. Tyler's in my first and third period classes. Tyler comes to class every day with a positive attitude and is ready to start working when the bell rings. Tyler does an outstanding job and turning in all of his assignments in a timely manner. I know I can count on Tyler to give me an answer for a problem that is on the board. He does his best each day and every day and never complains about the work being too difficult. It's a true pleasure of Tyler in both of my classes. Congratulations, both students of the week, and keep up the good work. Have a great day, Shea Middle School.